Corona. And here we go, and we are live here at Central League Field. It'll be Jadami in the action green, Young Kib in the navy blue, and it'll be Jadami with the ball first. And real quickly, when I talk to Jadami, the biggest thing that came out of our conversation, he said, Zach, I'm not scared or intimidated. I'm confident. That stuck out to me. I want to see if he can bring it to the sticks and bring it here on the stage in front of hundreds, if not thousands, of 12s here. There are so many people here. Man, I want to see that. And uh, young kid, you can see the look on his face. He is ready to go as these guys are getting ready, uh, getting their uh, audibles and things of that nature in order. This is going to be a heck of a matchup. Larry, I don't want to age you here, but tell us your best Herschel Walker story because we're going to see him heavily featured in today's Herschel game. Walker took ballet, was a bad boy at the University of Georgia in between the hedges down at UGA, uh, UGA in Athens, Georgia. So uh, Herschel Walker didn't lift weights. I feel point. like he could do a lot of push-ups. Yeah, I feel like I, I, I know that somehow, but I don't know why. <laughs> that's it. That's it. I was yeah. going to get into that. You stole it. That's exactly right. Uh, a great running back down there uh, with the Bulldogs at UGA. So it'll be Jadami with the ball, first and 10, around the 28-29 yard line for the Seahawks in the action green there for Jadami. And he's got that gun bunch, and we'll see what he can do. And he hands it off. Herschel Walker up the middle, makes a move. The defense there, though, by Earl Thomas. You can talk about Earl Thomas. A great stick there by Earl Thomas for young kid who's really worked on his defense. Yeah, in a juke move from Herschel Walker, Ooh. not what you expect to see. It was very lightning fast, though, but Earl able to grab him. But maybe we see Herschel Walker go with the truck style move, although jukes and spins tend to be more of what these players like to utilize. Those are the best moves, the best run moves in Madden 18. I taught you how to do the spin in the earlier game. I'll teach you how to juke, uh, do the juke in this one, too. And there's Herschel off the left side. I mean, he kind of looks like Herschel, too, running. He's got the elbow pads. He's got the gear. He's geared <laughs> up. And he is a 90 <laughs> overall uh, legend here. Is it near? Does he Walker. have a little more burst than I'm used to seeing? Looking quick. He's Man. 41 salary cap compared to 47 salary cap for Barry Sanders, who Kiv will be using on his side of the ball. Look, Jadami came into this game. He said, I'm going to have a balanced attack. I'm going to spread it out. Well, he's spreading it out and giving it to Herschel Walker, one of the all-time great college football players that you will ever see. Uh, had a great run in the NFL. Remember that big trade with the Vikings going back down to the Cowboys? Oh, man, Herschel Walker off to a great start, and now um, he's got a different back in the ballgame. In you might say, well, you guys just told me that this young Kiv guy is a great player. And just because he gave up 30 yards on a couple plays doesn't make him a bad player. What are we doing? It just means that he's feeling it out. And then you maybe see a, mis a mistake from Jadami, who's pounding the rock. And now all of a sudden Thank it's you. second in a mile because you decide to pass the ball. So Kiv will make his adjustments over the as the course of the game goes on. That is why he is one of the best players. An opening drive, you expect to give up some yards. And he did that. But look at him now. He's in a great situation. I don't understand what... I don't understand what Jadam is doing. I mean, you, you were running the ball down his throat with Herschel Walker, and you bring in line for what? He didn't stop. You didn't adjust anything. You just took him out. You, maybe you psyched yourself out yeah, a little bit. Like, I, I, can't, I can't keep getting this good while it's, while it's still going, and then you sell early. But now you're in a situation where you have to uh, pass the ball unless you're going for it on four-down territory. He's on the edge of field goal range. He's got to get back the, in the yards. Game. Third and 16, and he's got a reception uh, to Ingram out there as tight end from down there in Oxford, Mississippi. Old Miss, the Rebels down there, and the SCC hotty toddy. Good gosh almighty. Flam, flam. I guess the song goes something like that. I used to know it very well. I'm from the South. I should know the whole song. It goes something like that, but pretty much just hotty toddy. So Graham Gano is going to come in and kick potentially he's on the edge saying that he cannot make this field goal from the 36 about a 50 yard or so uh gano is 14 cap early in your mutt journey you got to kick a long field goal to advance one of the solo challenges and graham gano was about as far as you need he's pretty much the best bang for your buck kicker they both have him but instead of going for the attempt he's just on the edge of the range he's going to go for it on fourth and nine here on this early possession and he hasn't had a completion yet that's gotten him this many, so if he's got a play, he's got to use it early. About 52-53 from here. I think he can hit that, but I like the aggressiveness going forward here. You got Herschel back in the game. Twins to the left, twins to the right. Dropping back. Will he run it? He can't pick up a first down. He's going to have to throw it. He's got to throw it. He's, oh, my gosh. Ah. Bold strategy to throw the ball away on fourth down. That used to be an achievement. Not a good achievement, but... It's okay. You didn't 
throw a turnover, you know, you didn't throw a pick six. You, you want to get that ball downfield and see if they can do that, you know. All right, now Young Kiev, the local favorite. His mom and his dad both here today. Go ahead and make some noise. I see you guys back there. Make some noise, 12s. You're known for noise. I want my ears to bleed. Let's go in the action green, the 12s here at Central Link Field. And Kiev's first possession, gain of five yards for him. Yeah, off we, the left-hand side. So we Barry saw, Sanders. We saw Herschel Walker. Now we're seeing Barry Sanders. We're going to see Carson Wentz. This is a very specific version of football. Uh, football Outsiders Carson Wentz for his early performance during the uh, first half of this season when the Eagles Oh, what a hat there the by record. Young Kiev to Jerry Rice. We know he can get it cooking on offense with Young Kiev. That is his specialty. Gotten better on defense, and it showed in that first series, Zach. Yeah, he came in as a defensive-minded player, but last year his offense outclassed his defense. He felt like he couldn't get stops at Woo! points. Woo! Look at Barry Sanders. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Can't have a Thanksgiving without Barry Sanders and mm. Kiev with some fancy stick work, not trying to do too many moves, just using that agility with the left stick to make the man uh, defenders miss with Barry Sanders. Oh boy, did he make a guy, he made a couple of guys miss right there. <laughs> Look at Paul Krause, love the single bar from the old secondary member back there for Tadami and the Action Green Seahawks. Young Kiv on the move, first and goal around the five. Barry Sanders off the left-hand side, tried to spin and move. But good tackle and good defense there by Jadami. Uh, we'll see if he can. Look, it'll be a win for Jadami. Get out of here with only three. You it's, take that right he's now. He's got to do it because Kiv is one of the only players that I've talked to who says, I like my red zone offense. Yes. And most players struggle down there and they know it. Kiv goes, get me down there, put me in this single back ace. I will get touchdowns, not field goals. Once again, last year he said he learned to get off to a better start. And there he is with the touchdown. The pass complete to Jerry Rice. That's a touchdown for young Kiv. Shea Kivlin, he's on the board. Extra point up and good. And the hometown guy from Edmonds, Washington, he's saying, this is my house. This is my time. It is my city. I'm ready to go. I want another shot at Killer Mike. He's on the board. 7-0 lead. Five plays, 64 yards, a minute 27. That's too easy. Jadami was moving the ball on the ground. He got into a bad situation. He turned the ball over on fourth down. And look how easy Kiv makes it look. And that's why you have to maximize every possession that you have when you're playing somebody that is the caliber of young Kiv. You know that Killer Mike is going to be off to the side of the stage watching uh, his gameplay, keeping an eye on it. Now, Jadami should have known what Kiv was going to do a little bit because of his uh, preparation before the tournament. He watched Kiv who played at a tournament in El Paso. There was footage of Kiv playing yes. online. He went and studied that. It didn't look like it helped him at all, that opening drive. Yes. Of course, young Kiv getting to the semifinals down there, their challenger uh, in El Paso. Kick block away from, from being right back at it, unfortunately. So Kiv, once again, trying to get there and make some money and get some points. And that thrown out of bounds there. Uh, it's better than a sack. It's better than a sack, and it's still it it's still third and two. So, I'm sorry, Zach. You know. I mean, uh, don't you just ride Herschel Walker? Yes. At some point, you just, you just, I want, I want him to be like Zeke or like Beast Mode used to be feed. here. Just feed him. I mean, I don't think you throw the ball at all until he stops it. Herschel is averaging like eight yards a pop. What are we doing? Third and two for Jadami in the gun bunch. He's going to drop back the pass. Oh, and there's a reception to Larry Fitzgerald, old Lawrence, and he's running down the sideline to about the 30-yard line. That'll work. <laughs> that is a tight window, but when you spend 59 of your 750 cap on Carson Wentz, he has to make that throw, and he did. Larry Fitzgerald, 46 cap. So that's well into about 100 cap for that single play. But Paul Krause, what a great defender. He could drop back and pick that because of his size, because of his zone coverage. Yep. That route's not fully there. Good balance, five for five, but let's get back to this ground game, see if Kiv has the answer on how to stop it. Dadami, he talked about, man, he's been labbing with his friends, his preparation, he told me, he said, Larry, it's been off the charts. He says, my friends, they run other guys in system, and I said, you guys are basically like scout team. <laughs> and he said, yes, that's exactly what we do. He says, my guys, my buddies and friends, they'll run the other guys' plays, and I'm scouting them. It's literally like a scout team if you're playing in college or in the NFL. That's exactly what they're doing, getting him prepared for this big stage right here. And there's the 
Young Kia, the blonde bomber, you just, no Gucci today. You just hope, that, hope though, if you had your punter running scout team all week and then you get out there and face Michael Vick, that the speed was somewhat similar, because <laughs> you, you know what I mean? You, you never know how good of a version they're doing of it, but Kiv is, is going to do the best possible version of it. Both these players are using the West Coast offensive playbook, the West Coast. It's not a team-specific playbook. It's, a, it's an overall type of playbook. It became very popular at the Madden Classic, the first event, when one of the players made it to the Final Four and really surprised some people with it. Third and nine, and he's got a receiver. Oh, the aggressive catch. High points it. Great ball by Carson Wentz, and that's a first down, and we're moving closer to the 10-yard line. Huge third down completion for Jadon. Able to throw it over to Keenan Allen from your Los Angeles Chargers. Big time throw. There's Herschel, he's got some, oh, what a good hit down low right there. He's lucky to hold on to the ball. Uh, a good hit down low by Young Kiv, who's gotten a lot better on defense. You brought up a good point. I did not realize that he started out making his hay and making his bones as a Madden player, being better on the defensive side of the ball. I've known him more as an offensive player, but he started out on the D, right? Yeah, two years ago, he had invented kind of the defense that a lot of players were using, and that's how I had thought of him. Uh, at that Madden 16 event. Ended up in Madden 17, comes out with this amazing offense. His, he said his defense slid a little bit. Now he feels like his offense is where it was, which is a great place, and his defense has risen up to that level, and that's kind of the difference in his game this year. So when you think about Kiv, that's the type of player he is. Kadami's gonna, looks like he's gonna get in this gun bunch, some formation there, yes, there it is, gun bunch. Trips to the right. Herschel Walker offset to the left. Now he's going to roll it to the left-hand side. Herschel Walker offset to the right side. Carson Wentz in the gun. Good blitz pick up by Herschel Walker. And there's the throw to Larry Fitzgerald. That was a heck of a play right there. He picked up the blitz, moved his offense around, and he got a receiver across the middle of the field. And we are about to be tied here live at Central League Field. The PAT up, and it is good. Jadami is on the board, a 7-7 ball game. We are brand new, tied at 7, even Steven Zach. Nine plays for 75 yards, Jadami. When you spend that cap on Carson Wentz, you throw that high point pass. Pop quiz for the kids out there. How do you throw a high point pass? You hold down LB and the left stick up. That means that it will throw it up in the air. The bad thing, though, is you can sail a lot of passes. Mm -hmm. Throw them out of the back of the end zone, very dangerous. But when you spend on Carson Wentz, he makes consistent throws like that, and you saw him use that in the in the red zone. Many players did that last year and had great success. Good move from Chidami to get that Wentz and give him the opportunity to throw that high point and deliver a touchdown. Yes, sir, the accuracy was there, Zach Falls, and there's a pass. Young Kib to Jerry Rice across the right-hand side on that dig coming across. Pass is completed, picks up a first down. It'll be first and 10 for Young Kib. Uh, under three and a half minutes to play in the first half, and uh, we've got a good one going here. I told you it'd be a good one. I just want to make sure that Jadami gives the ball to Herschel Walker. Good things will happen. Kemp, just get rid of the run there, and there's a nice little toe drag swag there on the right sideline by a young kid. Six for six, passing the ball. Surgical so far in this game. Hasn't had to go to the ground game much. It's just been connecting on passes all across the field, attacking different areas of the field. Rice. Around the right hand, nice little spin move there to pick up another six yards. Give him about 16 there. So Carson Wentz now, once again, perfect on the afternoon for young Kiv. Under three minutes to play with a tie ball game here live in Rain City, Seattle. Oh, be careful there, but it's completed on the I mean, corner route there to his receiver. Defense at this stage of the year has definitely got the advantage in Madden 18. So the fact that Kiv is passing against this guy's salary cap team with loaded up with great defenders and is 8 for 8 is almost impossible. Oh, nice little jump stop by Jerry Rice there to pick up the first down. It's funny that we're looking at the Hawks nest there on Madden 18 on the screen. We're actually on this end of the field right now we're following underneath, the ball yeah. game underneath the Hawks nest right now. Uh, a little more in the corner of the end zone towards the left-hand side of the screen right there. First and 10 from about the 13-yard line for young Kiv. His second possession tied at 7, Zach. And for Kiv, it's not can you score. It's how, how can you score and with how much time left on exactly. the clock or how many timeouts can you make your opponent burn because you feel pretty confident you can get in the end zone, but you can do it and limit Jadami's ability to get a possession before the half. 
that's going to be a huge factor because Kiv gets the ball gets after the, the half, half, so you do the little two-for-one Patriots maneuver where you score that's before it. and after the half. Got B running across, and that's T.Y. Hilton. Ooh, takes a big hit. From, is that Earl Thomas? It looks like it. Holy cow. 10 for 10 passing. For Kiv, he has taken some big hits in this one. Anthony Barr got him on a spin move, so you don't want to see him fumble, but he's got to try and avoid some big hits for Jadami, who's loaded up with Anthony Barr. He's got uh, Richard Sherman, Ed Reed, Jarius Bird, Earl Thomas, Paul Krause. Some big hit power potential could force some fumbles. Third and two, and he hands it off to Barry Sanders, and he's going to come up short stuff by Earl Thomas there from, of course, right here in Seattle. A lot of look there at CenturyLink Field, one of the great facilities in the National Football League. Here's the field goal, Zach. It's up, and it is good. Young Kiv up 10-7. I think that's the difference between Kiv last year and Kiv this year. Fourth and one, he doesn't have to rely on his offense as much because he knows he could get a stop here or there. So he takes the points when it's uh, fourth and one. Whereas last year, it might have been smart to go and, and be aggressive because maybe you don't know if you could get the stop. So I like Kiv's evolution as a player. Fortunately, he makes a special teams mistake. And now with a minute 47, Jadami's got the ball with a chance to easily get a field goal because he's already up at the 40 yard line after the kick out of bounds. So very true there. So young Kip up 10-7. to Jadami now with the ball in the action green Seahawks. Hands it off to Herschel Walker. It seems like every time he takes the ball up the gut, he's getting six, seven, eight yards. We'll call it second and four there uh, for Herschel Walker and Jadami. And there's the clock coming into play. Kiv with two timeouts. One timeout remaining for Jadami. Uh, down three points now. Uh, under a minute and a half left in the first half. Uh, in a 10-7 ball game, Jadami trailing by three. Second down and four. Gun bunch to the right. Herschel Walker offset to the left-hand side, the running back. Carson Wentz barking out the plays, back to pass. Looking, and he's got a receiver in the flat, and it's Ingram L, and it's a gain of about, I'm going to give him one or two. We'll call it third and two uh, for Jadami, Zach. And he's now up to six for eight, so he's starting to get into a rhythm early in the game. He threw... You know, a couple of throwaways, but he's really completing some passes and he's not turning the ball over. He's taking what's there, which is something you have to do in this year's game, and then try and turn it into yards. You get into a lot of situations like this, third and two, but it's better than uh, third and long. And now you've got to make a critical decision on the right if side. you're Chidani. Yeah, got a hole. Down. You're already down. You don't get the ball. You're possessing it right now. Fourth and one. This is your play, your time. This is where you need to bust out your best play. Critical here. This could be literally a 14-point swing right here. If he doesn't pick up the first down. And, oh, great job there hitting the tight end in the flat. That We can look back on this ball game and say this is where he stayed in the ball game. Because if Kiv could have gotten the ball, now it's 17-7 possible at halftime, and you come out and score in the third quarter, and now you're down 17, but instead, oh, he's got a receiver to the left-hand side, and it's, oh, Larry Fitz running down the left-hand sideline, and now Jadami in business. These guys are playing high-level Madden. Kiv could have went hard flat, maybe taken that throw away on the fourth down, decided not to. He gave up two yards, that's fine. But there he gets beat down the sideline beyond the flat. So they're playing chess and checkers. Do you cover short? Do you cover deep? <laughs> and it's it's really becoming a factor uh, of mental mind games. And you're seeing them have to make adjustments. That's what this second half is going to be all about. Once again, the Seahawks Madden 18 Championship. We're live here in beautiful Seattle, Washington. In the shadows of Mount Rainier and the Puget Sound. Got the 12s here, Jadami in the action green, running, Herschel Walker got off to a great start, been bottled up recently 20, by Young Kiv in that defense. In, in 26 seconds, he ran it, he, it wasn't his best lane, and now the clock's ticking on third and 10. I wonder if he's settling for a field goal, he it, had plenty of time. That's what it's looking like. Yeah. Let's see if he can convert here, but now he's running into a situation where he's gotta get out of bounds. He might just take this thing down, slow it down. I don't think he can hike it here. He has to hike it here because he doesn't have a timeout. He's got to... uh, he better not throw it in the middle of the field. He's going to have to throw that thing away. Smart. Yeah, smart play. Um, yeah, questionable play calling down the stretch for Jadami. But if he can get three, he's tying the ball game up. And I think you're going to have time thinking, I'm tied with Kiv right now. Really haven't played very well. Kiv is, you know, completing everything. And I'm tied at halftime. This is a win for Jadami, although I would have liked to have seen a little more aggressiveness from him 
maybe take a lead in a halftime, and then you can say, I haven't played well, and I've got a lead. Yes. Every time you kick a field goal, three points, you get four points closer to going oh. home. Hold on. And ultimately, though, he could have really made a huge mistake in that situation and not gotten any points. So for him to kind of figure out, like, it was coming off the rails yeah. after that run, to get it back, throw the ball away, which he's done well, that's been the difference so far, his smarts, and that's why he's tied up right now with Kiev at the half. And I think that's the difference once you get here live on the stage and these lights are, are really bright on you. You start figuring out, okay, let me... You don't want to hyperventilate a little bit, right? I was, get, I, was, don't, I, I was hyperventilating for him. Like, <laughs> right. Please don't do See, this. I'm, I'm like, you know this. what, man? That's, you know, that's why I probably will never be great at man. I'm too aggressive. I just like, you know, I got to go. I mean, I'm, I'm here to win. There's a saying we used to have down south. If you're scared, go to church. That's kind of like how I am with Madden. So it's like I want to see him go for it and, and full throttle there. But we've got a good one. It's tied at 10 between young Kiv. Was in the final last year, lost to Killer Mike by a touchdown, 38-31. Another half of play here uh, in the second half. What are you looking for for Jadami and also Shea Kivlin, Young Kiv? So Madden's about adjustments, especially the second half of games. If you're Jadami, what you have to do on this opening drive is figure out a way to get Kiv to throw even one incompletion. <laughs> he gets the ball. He's been surgical. He's been all over the field. You've got to figure out something whether it's this 3-4 crossfire blitz that you like to bring. Can you get some pressure? Can you make Kiv uncomfortable? Because he's just done a really good job throwing short, turning it into big yards, and figuring out a way to stop Kiv is going to be the difference between moving on to the finals against Killer Mike or going back up to Oregon. Ten minutes to play, or maybe we get some free Madden football. We'll see. It's a 10-10 ball game in the second semifinal. The winner moves on against Killer Mike, last year's overall Madden club champion. For Larry Ridley's Zach Frost will come back with more of the Madden 18 Seahawks Championship live here from Seattle after this quick timeout. It starts with my grandfather. He entered the military when he was 17 years old. Once he became a serviceman, he realized the importance of giving of himself to others. He embodied that in so many different ways, and he taught me that as his grandson. I've known a lot of people who have served. They've given up so much. They've sacrificed so much. And when I asked myself, what did they sacrifice for? You know, what was the purpose? And it was to protect our freedoms. Welcome back here to beautiful Seattle, Washington. Rain city, no rain. It's been sunny. It's been perfect. The fans, you are perfect. Go ahead and stand up, 12s, and make some noise. Show the NFL why you guys are the loudest fans in all of the National Football League. The Falcons coming into town. They're going to get a taste of the 12s on Monday Night Football. But right now, it's the virtual NFL with the Seahawks. The Seahawks Madden 18 championship, and right now it's halftime of the second semifinal. Larry Ridley alongside Zach Farley, a.k.a. Kids Call Him Farls. He's the Madden Bible. Zach, 10 minutes to play in a ball game between Jadami and Young Kiv. This thing is good right now, Zach. This is a tight game of Madden back and forth. Both players have gotten touchdowns on great throws that they've practiced, prepared for. Both players' salary cap lineups have worked out for them. Both players have struggled a bit, whether it's Kiv stopping the run, whether it's Jadami on completing all his passes. The big thing, though, is he hasn't gotten himself into too many bad situations. That one sack was a killer for Jadami, but him getting rid of the ball, throwing the ball away, and not turning it over has got him in this game, and now he's got to figure out a way to make an adjustment and get a stop here in the third quarter. You just spoke about the game. Let's go to the game. Third quarter now in the Seattle CenturyLink field here, and we're going to get started with Young Kiv. He'll have the ball. He'll be receiving in the third quarter uh, against Jadami, and we're going to get going. And once again, folks, we got this custom Seahawks Xbox One controller that we'll be giving over, uh, giving yeah, away here. These soon. are coming out now. I've seen them for quite a few teams. Yes, they're pretty fancy. Good, good grip on them. 
and uh, the Seahawks logo. Somebody's taking this home. They're gonna they're gonna like that. I've been demonstrating all the moves you can do <laughs> with this, but uh, you know, until you get your paws on it, it's tough to know. Want to thank CenturyLink Field for being a sponsor today. Of course, their name on this beautiful stadium here, Super Bowl 48 champion Seattle Seahawks. We got. The Seagulls are here. The cheerleaders give them some, uh, some, some round of applause. Make some noise for the Seagulls, guys. Also for Blitz, the mascot, Frank Clark back there signing autographs. Ode Abuchi also signing autographs. They've uh, been here signing a lot of them. I'm, I'm really impressed by this crowd. I thought last year at the Mopop was awesome when we had four or 500 fans. Uh, ticket holders were here. Man, they've really showed out here with the Seahawks, and we're going to begin the third quarter with Young kid on offense, and once again, now, what is he, 11-11 or 12-12? He's completed every pass so far, and he gets a six-yard game across the middle. 11, 11 oh, for 11 here, and it, it really is amazing to be, we're, we're in the in the Seahawks stadium, like I keep forgetting that, but it's amazing <laughs> to be here and share this with the 12s, first class event here, these uniforms for the players, and some great Madden early in this game. He's got to throw one away. And folks, it's happened. He's finally threw his first incomplete pass, but it was actually the smart play, so I'm gonna count it as a completion. It was the <laughs> right thing to do in that moment. But now he's got a third and four, Larry. If you were grading him, you would give him a I'd give him a, a, a positive grade for that. Gun bunch to the left. Quarterback looking on. He's got a receiver, Jerry Rice. Great job there by young Kip, just being patient. And he hits that little drag coming across the middle of the field, picks up seven yards. That's what you need to do move the sticks. You know, Skimbo's probably playing some of the best football right now, but I this offensive performance from Kiv is, making it, is making it look easy. Skimbo won the Patriots championship earlier. He's won the Classic. He plays amazing and has a great offense. Kiv, his offense looks about on that same level, and he's trying to win this Seahawks club championship. Yo, oh, yes, young Kiv, part of that youth movement. Oh, will youth be served here today? We've got all these 26, 27, 28-year-olds here. Uh, in, the, in the Seahawks Madden Championship. But it's the young blonde bomber from Edmonds, Oklahoma. I was about to say Oklahoma. Edmonds, Washington, uh, right outside of Seattle. Tied up with Jadami at 10. And he's doing a great job with Carson Wentz. That's why he picked him. Oh, but he's brought down at the last second there by Jadami. Good job. A loss of a what? About 7 or 8 on the play. 3rd and 13 for young kids. Yeah, he, he had the route across the middle of the field, but Carson Wentz was rolling away from it, so he had to kind of gather the football, get his feet set, and couldn't get the throw out before uh, Gruger Hill, who's a great salary cap player. If you use him, he should be on uh, your salary cap team, so sneak him in, him and Dewey McDonald, to low-cost salary cap studs. Young Kiff switched QBs last year when we were here. He played with Michael Vick. Uh, went to Wentz. He said he wanted to, uh, a little more consistency. Uh, you know, Vick does a good job running around, but he wanted someone that can run and throw the ball. And Carson Wentz, of course, one of the best right now. And there's an incomplete pass. Great defense by Jadami. And how about Jadami? Has come back into this game, tied it up with the field goal, and he's looking pretty good. He's got young Kev a little bit on the ropes here uh, with a huge fourth down here uh, yeah. for the very confident young Shea Kivlin. Tough drop. It would have got him into a more manageable fourth down. He's going to go for this. He's a Madden guy. Absolutely. Madden guys go for fourth downs. Kiv got to have a play for this on fourth and 13. Those shorter drag routes that he's been hitting consistently on, he's going to need something a little bit deeper than this. Uh, this is a very high degree diff difficulty to convert. Fourth and 13, West Coast gun bunch, and he's looking. Oh, and he's got T.Y. Hilton. About a 14-yard game. We'll give him the first down there. Great job there. Hit him right in the hole. Perfect timing. The low pass and everything. Great job there by Shea Kivlin. Oh, youth, man, I tell you, I love these guys. Young Drenny, Kiv, Joel CP, all of these young cats, Fitz Magic, all of these guys in the Madden community doing a great job, Zach. That is what we call a dot, which means he was wide open. He used the low throw. I taught you guys how to high throw earlier. Low throws, <laughs> LB with the left stick down. Down. He put it where only his guy could complete it, goes down. Grabs the first down, keeps the chains moving. Second and five, this kid is just delivering on this drive. Love high-level Madden right there by both guys. Good job and by Shea so, Kivlin. And so, Larry, with Kiv getting into great situations, he hasn't had to convert a fourth and long. You don't have many plays that can convert fourth and long, and the next time he's in a fourth and long, his opponent will know that he's going to that, and he'll adjust. So the fact that that was the only real time he's had to do that this game is one of the reasons that was a success. People always say, like in real football, what does the playbook look like on fourth and long or if you need a 20-yard completion or something? I can tell you, in our college playbook, for third and 15 or third and 20 or third and 25 or fourth and 25, 
was like one page. There was not a lot that you can go to there I to get a fourth down completion. So I can I can tell you that straight up. There's not a lot of plays that you can dial up when it's fourth and long. My college playbook was pizza, burrito, <laughs> or Chinese food. That was my college That's playbook. That's a tough you choice. To, yeah, you had to pick. There's Barry Sanders running outside. Can he make a man miss it? He can't. Look at that move by Barry, Barry Sanders. Oh, my gosh, the cover boy of Madden 25. And what a move there. Shea Kivlin back on the teeter-totter. He seesaws ahead, and he's got a six-point lead pinning the PAT. It's up, and it's good. Barry Sanders, Motown right there looking real good. The former Lion. Man, Barry Sanders was a bad dude. 12 play drive. 88 overall, Barry Sanders, 47 cap. That's the GOAT, Barry Sanders, coming up clutch for young Kiv. The spin move, he even did a little celebration into the end zone. L trigger and X for you guys at home. <laughs> Diving in, spinning around. You're going to want to add that one to your game because it will frustrate your opponent, especially your brother. They hate it when you dive into the end zone like that, so I definitely recommend it. Barry Sanders spinning and winning. Madden 25 was on the cover. Just saw the greatest of all time, man. A, a tweet on Thursday night from Barry Sanders exactly. himself I saw it too. said, "Hey, I'm back in Madden. He's back for the Mutt Harvest, which is a Thanksgiving program inside of Ultimate Team. You'll see him all over these fields. An even better version than the one kid. He's going deep in the double coverage. Oh, almost caught, but knocked away at the last second. Couldn't haul it in. Third down and ten for Jadami. And Jadami, he talked about his his offense. You know, being." You know, a balanced attack. i got to spread it out, Larry. This is what I need to do. In the gun bunch, I'd like to see a little more Herschel Walker, especially early, to test young kid to see if that defense is solid. Thought he had John Ross, the fastest man in the NFL, who doesn't have the best hands in the NFL. He's just a rookie, but he's very, very fast. He tried to go over the top, didn't have the throw power to get it there, and now he needs a fourth and long play to hang uh, in this game with Young Kiv. They're both using the West Coast offensive playbook, yes. so it's a bit of a mirror match where Kiv knows this playbook as well as Jadami knows it because he uses it himself. And now on fourth and 10, let's see what adjustments Kiv makes and where he knows how to look to defend this offensive formation. Fourth and 10, Jadami gun bunch, and you saw the, the look on his face, the, the worry, the anxiety there. Can he pull it out here? He needs a first down. He's got plenty of time. He's got time. Can he? Can a man come open? And he got him on the sideline. Out of bounds. I think he had one foot out. That hurts for that hurts. Adam. He had mm. great. He was targeting the middle of the field. Kiv took it away. He was patient. Threw it to the sideline. Held A for that possession catch, but the feet didn't get down in bounds. Left now foot was Kiv in. Right foot was out. Absolutely good call, Zach. And that's what he needed right that's there. That right that there. type of animation on the sideline, holding down that A button to get a completion. You got to hold Kiv to three here, but he's been all over it so far. Hurts to give the ball back, but you know what? You came to Seattle, you, you, you played, you went for it on fourth down, and that's what you have to do if you're going to beat a player like Kiv. You got to get some of those conversions. Kiv got one against you, you wanted that one, but you got to toughen up here in the red zone. Time to bow your neck, as Coach Boots Donnelly used to tell us down at Middle Tennessee. And there's Barry Sanders, and oh, good tackle there by Sherm, one of the. Seahawks secondary members right there. That's how you get it done. And you, we're going to look back at this last little sequence there. Barry Sanders, bad move on the outside. Fourth down, you can't convert. What can you do here? This might determine, the, I think it will determine the ball game. If he gives up a touchdown, it's over. A field goal and you have a faint shot. You have to be ready for Kibbs' red zone offense. You've now seen it a couple times. These tosses, these pitch plays, these are pretty much staple. Mm, mm, mm. That is too <laughs> I don't know how you could ever be ready for that. Like, you know it's coming, but you can't really do much about it. So, you know this formation. It's in your playbook. You have to be ready to expect what could come from it. And you've now stopped him a couple times in the red zone, or you've seen a lot of his red zone playbook. So, you've got to make the adjustments here to hold it down. But it's going into the fourth quarter, and now you've got a three-yard cushion to keep yourself in this game. You have to do it here with five minutes to go. Spin move by the great Barry Sanders off the right-hand side off that toss sweep, toss sweep to the right-hand side. Man, I mean, that spin move netted him another five, six yards there. Still, instead of third and nine, it's third and three. Here we go, inside of the five, and there's Barry Sanders up the gut. Give him the first down on about the one-and-a-half-yard line. Oh. No. Wow, they didn't give it to him. Because Fourth and one. Here we go for young Kiv. And that's a dummy. Get off the field. That's the one thing with the Barry. Remember, Kiv kicked a field goal earlier in this situation, but here it looks like he's going to go for it. I don't know if he's frustrated, but remember, Barry Sanders, 
shiftiest back ever? Yes. Not a power back. Not a power back. Doesn't fall forward and, and stumble forward. So he gets stopped one yard short of the line. And now if you're Kib, do you have a play on this fourth and one? You didn't use it earlier, remember. So maybe you've got something saved up you feel like can get you this conversion. Do you kick the field goal here or do you go for it if you're Kib? What would you do, Matt and Bible? You, you pin your opponent deep. You go for the win. You go for it. You're young Kiv. You try and draw your opponent off sides, and then you let the play clock run out. Then you kick the field goal. That's what young kid's going to do. <laughs> oh. Power, I, 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 once he started messing around with the camera, <laughs> exactly. for the folks at home, if you want to fake the snap, RB, if your opponent has his adjustments uh, set to aggressive, you can get him to jump off sides. So Kib was going for a freebie there. I like it. And instead, he's going to take the three. I was wondering why he wasn't going to take that. I was trying to fire him up. I was trying to convince him to hike it. You know, Drew Brees does that a lot. He comes out, and, right. he, and then they just take the delay again. Aaron Rodgers is good at that as well. Tom Brady, TB12, very good at that. And he saves his, his timeout. He doesn't have to use it. He lets it tick down to three. Hopes he doesn't get blocked. And Kiv goes up two scores. So that was a chess match. And it that, was. That was Kiv knowing the situation, the clock, going up two scores. All good stuff from the youngster. Good job by Jadami. I mean, look, he's given up four scores, right? A couple of touchdowns, a couple of field goals. It could very well easily be 28-7. It would be Katie bar the door. But he's bowed his neck in the red zone and, and, and forced Kev to come up with two field goals. So he's down 20-10. to 10, A must drive here. A must get for Jadami on offense. Can he open it up? Talked about the balanced attack. Now he's got to really be balanced. Get Herschel Walker going and hit some big passes to put some pressure on young Kiv. And I like There's Herschel Walker up the middle. Game of about three or four. It'll be second and seven. It didn't work, but I like the run call. You have three timeouts, so you'll have a chance to get the ball back. And so you don't want to just pass because you feel like you need to score. You can only score seven points on one drive at a time. Many players are like, well, if I go really fast, maybe they'll give me ten points. But... You can't have 10 points. No, you can't. You got to get two possessions. You have the timeouts to do it. So do whatever it takes to score here. Don't rush. Don't hurry up and make a mistake. If running the ball is what's working, yeah, it's going to take longer, but it's it's what's going to deliver you the result you need. Good job hitting his receiver, the tight end, out in the flat on the left side, and he picks up the first down. It's Ingram, Jadami on the move around midfield, around his own 49. Three minutes and 47 seconds left. He's down by 10, but... He's on the move in the action green here in Seattle. You're watching Larry Ridley, also Zach Farles, a.k.a. Farles, Madden Bible, on twitch.tv slash EA Madden NFL, also Seahawks.com. Great fan base here with the Seahawks. The 12s out in full force. Hundreds of them coming through the turnstiles. Thousands of them, by the way, to get autographs from Frank Clark and Ode Abushi. The Seagulls in the house also blitz the mascot. Watch out, and there's the sack, and you can't have that, Zach Farrell. And I, and I told the kids earlier, you can't drop too far back out of the pocket. He realized that he had made that mistake, and he started to go back up, but then his linemen were already in his way at that, at that stage of the game, and that makes it a tough third and 16 here for Jadami, who in his last time at this event lost to James Piano, another great player in this community. Mm -hmm. He said that it was his first event, so it was tough, and he wanted to come back out. He had learned kind of how to play on this stage, so big opportunity. Here it is, third down and 16. Plenty of time. He can just sit back. Here's a little pressure coming off his right-hand side. He's going to have to throw it. Oh, and that's a bad throw. And there's the accuracy that you talk about there. He had a receiver in the middle of the field over through him. Was patient. You saw under pressure on the bottom of the screen. That's the message that flashed up. And that lets you know if you're playing at home. The throw was impacted because your quarterback was under pressure. Anyone can make a, a perfectly accurate pass from a clean pocket. These quarterbacks are great. But when you're under pressure and you're rolling out, you will sail some throws because uh, your quarterback is under pressure. And Carson Wentz, even though he's a great one, uh, this football outsider's 94 overall version, that's a tough way to make a living. Now he's got a fourth and 16 for the game. Fourth down and 16. Not a lot on the play sheet there, but maybe you can get back, buy some time with Carson Wentz. Oh, he's bringing some pressure. Young Kev switching it up. Coming off the line. Oh, what a dot, and he can't hold on. Oh, my gosh. And I think that will just about do it there. What a great throw. What a great route on that dig. It was right there. Kid bringing pressure. Great play call. Just can't complete the play. Keenan Allen couldn't hang on to the football. There was two defenders in Barry the area. Barry Sanders taking off. Oh, spins and almost runs over Earl Thomas. I don't know if you see that a lot in real football. But good move there by the GOAT. 
Barry Sanders. So it's, it's hard to say, did Keenan Allen drop that because it was a drop, or did he drop it because he had two defenders close to him in the area, maybe a third guy getting involved? Tough for Jadami, though. You feel like you hung in the pocket, tough against that blitz. You delivered the only route that was there. Kiv didn't quite have the user in position, and you just sometimes Madden's easy, sometimes Madden's hard. <laughs> sometimes it's good to you. Sometimes Madden is not good to you. Gun bunch to the left. Toss sweep to Barry Sanders, and look at him. Oh, great tackle there by Jadami, who's not just going to just go away quietly. He's going to make Kiv earn everything he gets. But young Kev comfortably ahead, 20 to 10, a 10 point lead at the two minute warning. Jadami with his full complements of timeouts, uh, but he's down two scores. He's got to try to pull a rabbit out of his hat. I don't know if he can get it done. Uh, Zach, what do you do here? I mean, how do you just try to get back in? First of all, you got to get the ball back. Yeah, you're going to okay. have to use some timeouts. You got to okay make a tackle and timeout. Yeah, Kiv tackle timeout. Kiv's got to stay in bounds. You got to start to use the timeouts. Now you're going to rely on an onside kick. Yep. You're, you're, you're going to need two touchdowns. You're going to need a touchdown or onside kick to have a shot. And something you can do here is go to your coach adjustments. You put your ball carrier on conservative. There you go. You put your offensive line on aggressive because you can then they'll block better. You could get a holding penalty, but that's not the worst thing that could happen because then you get another play and more time comes off the clock. That's a W level two power move uh, according <laughs> to him. So Kiv going next level, third and 15. He's going to toss it out here. Thanks to Dub.W, sent me that needed sweatshirt. Pretty cool there, love it. Oh, what a great robot. <laughs> Barry Sanders is a bad and, dude. But, but Kiv's shaking his head because he went out, of, out bounds. of bounds. And that saves Jadami a timeout. Now he's got two timeouts. He's only up by 13, which is two touchdowns. Uh, you know, uh, two touchdowns beats you. Uh, uh, unlikely, two but, score game. Uh. but if you're Kiv, you could have managed that slightly better. Um, so all in all for Jadami, you're still hanging around in this game. Last time I was out here in Seattle, the Patriots were out here. They were up 23 to 10, and they lost to the LOB 24-23. That was the You Mad Bro game. Ah. With Richard Sherman. Yeah, they came back. You fans remember that? Remember that when they beat the Patriots out here? 24-23. That was the You Mad Bro game, right? All right? So yeah. They came back, scored those last two touchdowns. So I've seen it happen. Maybe we'll see it again here at Century Link Field. You mad, bro? I thought you said LL Bean, but you said L O B. L O B. There's Jadami. Ooh, wow. Slobber knocker. <laughs> Earl Thomas. These there. fans, they know. They know the deal. Make some noise, 12. Show the NFL while you're the loudest. There they go. This crowd here, man, and all those fans still in line getting autographs from Frank Clark and Ode Abushe. And he's got to throw it, and he's got to throw that one away. Had some pressure coming at yeah, the face of his quarterback. That's not even a tenth of the crowd. I mean, this crowd here, I don't know what they're doing back there. I'm going to go find out at the commercial break, though. Maybe they're serving hot pretzels. I love a hot pretzel. I get one at every airport in America I go to. <laughs> I got to give a shout out to Minneapolis for the best hot pretzel in the game. Wow. Uh, maybe that's what they're serving back there. I know they're doing autographs with Frank Clark. So I might try and say, I don't know how much time we have between this next game. Probably not a lot, but I'll get back to this I one. think you can buy five minutes. Great pass there to Ross, and he does hold on to this one. And there you can see Wentz, 12 of 22, buck 33 through the air. Does have the touchdown pass. Tick, 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 tick. About a minute to play. Jadami on the move. Can he get into the end zone? He's got to throw the ball. Here comes the pressure. Oh, and young Kev just cost him about 10 seconds there. And at this point, you use your time out. You You have to use it yes. because it's not going to help you at, at this stage of the game. So yes. some... Risky clock management from Jadami at the end of that first half. Now here he's go, He's deciding to do this one on second and 20. Great pocket presence, trying to hit John Ross deep, the speedster, but he's not going to be able to burn guys in Kiv's secondary. Earl Thomas, Ed Reed, uh, Rondé Barber. Early in the season, you want to get a John Ross because he is that much faster than, say, Richard Sherman. He's got about a seven-point speed difference. But at this point in the season, he's only got about a two-point speed yeah. difference. And Kiv knows that. He knows he's not really going to get toasted deep by John Ross. Well, not only that, it's the, uh, you know, the, the catch ability as well uh, there with his uh, catching ability and his catch radius. So uh, John Ross is not the guy that you want to be throwing the ball up to. Uh, you can throw it out to him, but not up to him. And he's got the streak down. He's going to go for eight once again. He's going to let it rip. Oh, no, he's going to the sideline. And he's got a receiver, Keenan Allen. Big play there, picks up the first down. And that's what you got to do, just run those streaks and go for one of them. That is a dot, a wide open throw. Kiv with the user got close to it. Jadami had to throw it and had just enough room. And that is a hot one for Jadami. First and 10 for Jadami. Back, he's got to get rid of it, and he does wisely. 
out to the right hand side so he's got a little time here you need the touchdown hopefully you can score in the next 10 to 15 seconds get an onside kick and by a miracle get the thing back in the end zone there and one more pro tip for the fans at home I know they got their notebooks out click that right stick down and you'll throw the ball away and that's what's saving Jadami here in this game ball some time there good job by the offensive tackle on the left side here comes the Pete he's got to get rid of it does he no he does not he did. He just got he it did? out. Okay. He, he didn't get fully rid of it, but it, he, he had the arm going forward, as they say. It looked like it. he spiked it once he was down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's lucky that it wasn't a fumble, but he just was able to get it out. That keeps the clock stopped. And now third and ten. Use that last time out. Pick this thing up. Pull it within six points. Boy, he's lucky to get that call there. That saved them about 10 or 15 seconds, likely. So third and ten here, under 30 seconds to go. Jadami down by 13. Here comes the pressure by Young Kevin. I like the aggressiveness on defense. We're not going to sit back in a prevent defense and prevent me from winning. He's coming after now. It's fourth and 21, and it's about Katie bar the door time. That's called screaming. Kiv is screaming at his opponent. He's sending it six. He's sending guys both ways. Now he's going to back everybody off, which is good with seven seconds left. Jadami's taking this time out home. Maybe see if he can redeem it after the game for a ticket at the buffet or a hot pretzel. <laughs> Maybe I could use it. Pick Earl. up by Earl, Earl Thomas. Go ahead and get down, and it's over. He runs it out, and that will be the ball game. A solid win from Shea Kivlin. Young Kiv, he moves on to the final. We're going to have a good one between Young Kiv and Killer Mike, a repeat of last year's final. And we'll get these two gentlemen to shake hands. Great sportsmanship there. Young Kiv on the right-hand side and on the left-hand side. Jadami, Damian, Altamirano. Did a good job coming down from Silverton, Oregon, three and a half hours south of Portland. And it is young kid of Shea Kivlin rocking the number seven, the great.